So let's create the God Ray in Blender. So I'm working on this scene here, and I want some light to come from above and hit my angel alien character finger. So how do we do that? The first thing um, we can do so my cursor is set to the middle, and then we can bring in a circle. Just scale the circle up. Now we can hide everything by clicking Shift and H. We go in top view by clicking 7. And here, maybe scale it a little bit more so you can see what we are doing. And go into edit mode. And we want to make sure that this one up here is set to edges. So now we can just extrude this in like this. This definitely do not need to be perfect. Just something like this. And then you want to click on three or just go up here and click face select. We're gonna click on one of these faces and we can hold down the shift, click alt and click. And do, do, do. So like that. And we can maybe also do control I. And just delete the faces and from here <clears throat> we want to bring in our light so we're gonna go to light and to spot bring the spotlight maybe to something like this and scale down the rings click on the spotlight again and we want to crank this up to that's good and we want to bring in a beautiful pink color so I think that is pretty good okay and now we want to bring in our cube maybe something like this is good enough and we want to go into shader editor Click on new, delete this principal BSDF, and we're going to bring in a volume scatter node. So we're going to plug the volume into the volume, and obviously now the volume is way too dense, so we're going to bring it to 0 0.05. And now if I manage to click on this these rings here you can see the effect so we have some control over our god ray you can sort of like yeah mix it around a little bit so now if I bring everything back, a good thing when you're working on a nice tip when you're working on a bigger scene like this and you're going to bring everything back at once is to bring it back from solid mode. Okay, so if you bring it back directly from the render mode, um, Blender will flip out. It's very easy to crash uh, uh, Blender. So, uh, if I bring everything back now, then I just deselect everything by clicking Alt and H. Go back into Render View. And let's see what we have. So we have some completely... <laughs> and this is definitely not what we wanted. And so I'm just going to select uh, the volume again. I'm going to bring down the density 0 0.02 yeah, something like that and we're going to move our light beam or guard ray so if I manage to select it here Yeah, 
sometimes you need to hide a lot of stuff to just get in and actually being able to select anything. So now I want to bring this maybe to something like that. Now we're get, getting something. Okay. So this starts to look a little bit cool. What we can do now is go over to this uh, light section here. And we can reduce uh, the radius uh, at the spotlight. To maybe something like that. Looks cool. And uh, as you can see, we have a tiny gap here. That the volume is not showing, so we want to uh, bring the cube a little bit bigger. There we go. And if you want this light beam to be a bit stronger, the only thing we need to do is duplicate uh, the light source. So uh, I managed to select it again. Almost. There we go. So, you can just duplicate it here, duplicate it again, and now we have a pretty nice uh, guard ray. So, obviously this needs some fine tuning, but uh, this is the way to make guard rays in Blender. Uh, if you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe. And if you want me to make a tutorial on this entire scene here, then leave a comment. Have a beautiful day and peace out.